Now, to this complete cycle for the world, I'll give you a time scale on that. Uh, bear in mind that started in 1857. And so here's where we were about three or four years ago. This was proved reserves in here, which would add up to about here. And uh, the estimated peak would occur about 1995, and we go into the decline. The 10 per that middle 80 percent again is yeah. spread from the uh, 60s, the late 60s, up to a uh, little over 20, beyond 2020. Or it's computed out here about 56 years. Mm -hmm. That assumes an order of evolution. <coughs> that says that uh, a child born, say, within the last 10 years, will probably see the world consume most of its oil if he lives a normal life. In his lifetime. Now, their OPEC countries are tampering with this curve right now. They're, they're actually curtailing production somewhat. Mm -hmm. And so it's conceivable that this peak up here might be shifted over to the back side a little bit. We might cut off this rate of growth and mm -hmm. stabilize. If we did, that would extend this middle 80% by about something like 10 years, maybe. But it doesn't alter the basic thing that I'm saying significantly. The, uh, to appreciate again the, the the situation of our modern industrial society is contrasted, say, with the past future with regard to the fossil fuels, or the, to appreciate the fossil fuels in human history. I've taken this time span here from 5,000 years ago to the present to 5,000 years in the future. Now, what we call recorded history began about 5,000 years ago. So what this shows is that this Washington Monument-like spike here is the episode of the fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas, and every other kind of fossil fuel in human history. Mm. It's the most disturbing thing that's ever happened to the human species. It's responsible for our technological society, and in terms of human history, it's a very brief epoch. 